Hi everyone, this is Florian Fairman from Oryxim and I'm here today to discuss making ground textures in GMAX for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This tutorial at least requires some experience with GMAX before starting. Also please note that you need to leave on annotations during this tutorial as links to required software come up as we discuss them. For now please enjoy and I hope it's useful. In terms of software you will need the GMAX software which is available free to download. It's also recommended that you have the Flight Simulator 2002 uh, GMAX game pack. If you don't have this, because it's only available on the Flight Simulator 2002 Pro CD, you can also download Flight Simulator 2004 game pack, and you can arrange your workaround with MDL Commander. For more information on this, please visit um, fsdeviper.com. You can also download there the FS2002 Make MDL software in case um, you use FS2004 game pack. The theory I'm going to demonstrate today is officially abolished by Microsoft. However, you will still find this way of making graphics textures in every major paper package. Because since Microsoft has abolished it, there has been really no replacement for this theory. In this tutorial, we will also keep in mind um, the fact that the world in Flight Simulator acts as round, and that also affects how we design in GMAX. Okay, let's jump to GMAX. Uh, the thing we're going to use in this tutorial are planes. They can be found in the menu on the right side. In GMAX, the size of this airport is about 3000 3, meters in length and 3000 meters in width. You can adjust the length and width in the menu on the right. Also note that the walls in, G in uh, Flight Simulator X is round, so we will need length and width segments about every 100 meters. So in this case we need 30 length segments and 30 width segments. Please be careful um, if you have split your texture and for example into uh, 7 um, textures in the width they need to adjust this as well. So that will be probably 28 segments. Just a little bit of allowance in terms of the 100 meters. I said texture X and Y to 0, this is just for my convenience and I have two, as I have 2 textures in width and 2 textures in length so I will need a quarter of the plane for each texture now I go to edit mesh and I select the first quarter of the texture because I have set the plane to 0 and 0 it makes, me, it makes it a little bit easier for me to see which part I need if you have different sizes textures, you will spend a little bit more time applying the texture. This is not a big deal. You uh, now created material from the material editor in the top and select standard. Select diffuse. Select bitmap. And the material navigator will come up and select the texture you want. Select apply, then click the box right next to the map and you will see now that the plane is grey except for the part you have selected which is white. Now go to UVW map from the menu and you will see that the texture now actually is applied. As the standard mapping is planner you don't need to change anything and you can go by router, right mouse click to collapse all. This makes sure, this makes, uh, sure that the texture stays in place a warning will come up to ensure that, that you want this and you select yes. We're now going to repeat this process for the four other quarters. I'm going to do this a little bit faster than at first. It's just um, because it's the same process over and over again for each other texture. As you see I'm quite efficient at this. Um, this really comes after three years of experience. So if you're just a beginner for GMAX, it's nothing out of the normal. That it takes it a little bit longer for you, as you're not really used yet to the routines of GMAX. You select the bitmap, select the texture from from the window. You go to UVW map right click on UVW map 
collapse all, the warning will come up, select yes, and you're on your way again. Last time I will do this, standard once again, diffuse, bitmap, the texture you want, apply, click the box, UVW map, planner, right click, collapse all, yes to the warning, very now done. Now go to customize and viewport configuration and select smooth plus highlights for the view for the top. You can now see the texture on top and I'm gonna change the um, texture a little bit to match the um, the uh, AFCAP model and I put it just below ground level. Please correct this again to zero at a later time. And I create another plane that matches exactly uh, the length and width of one way. One way. Don't worry about the segments as um, we will delete it later. We're not gonna use the flight simulator itself. This is just pure for scaling purposes. And um, the exact length and width of one way um, allows you to see if the size of your uh, base ground texture is correct and matches um, the size of the airport. You will see as the runway is not exactly in the center of the texture, you will need to crack fix a little bit before you can get going. I'm now gonna rotate the texture pretty soon to ensure that everything um, is alright. Um, I prefer to do this in GMAX, you can also do it on export. However, I wouldn't recommend this as GMAX provides you a little bit more freedom in doing this. Please always check this after export in uh, to Fly Simulator that the run rays are the correct heading. Now, as the um, coordinates I'm using are at the intersection of the two run rays. I will place it there and I will just enter the coordinates that I'm aware of. 